Mark O'Mara with yeah. us, the former attorney for George Zimmerman, who successfully defended him in the case that the world watched. Mark, great to see you. Thanks for coming on. Great, Vinny. Good to be here. Now, that letter obviously written before the not guilty verdict, but do you think the fact that your client, George Zimmerman, walked out of the courtroom is a good sign for Michael Dunn and his case in Jacksonville? Well, in a very small way, he may think that because self-defense worked in the Zimmerman case, it may work in his case, but the facts are so entirely different. I would not get any solace in the fact that George Zimmerman was acquitted with the facts in his case with the much different facts in Dunn's case. Okay, different facts. Chrissy, let's get to some more of the letters uh, so I can have Mark uh, react to those as well. Yeah, because, you know, there are several times where he does mention race in these letters. First of all, this is one where he's writing to his grandmother. It was February 24th. Quote, there have been several other shootings here in Jacksonville, yet they are all either black on black or black on white, and none of them have garnered any attention from the media. Unquote. Um, here's Don apparently writing to his girlfriend, this one from June 14th. Quote, I just got off the phone with you, and we were talking about how racist the blacks are up here. The more time I am exposed to these people, the more prejudiced against them I become. And then here's Dunn writing to someone unknown. Uh, this was on June 26th. And the quote is, the jail here is almost all black prisoners. You'd think Jacksonville was 90 to 95 percent black, judging by the makeup of the folks in jail here. I've never seen a group of people so racially divided. The blacks hate the whites, and the whites hate the blacks up here. My fear is that if I get one black on my jury,